Hi, Bob Grinia here, your MFMP representative in Sochi on the Black Sea this October morning. So, registration for the 25th uh, Cold Nuclear Transmutation and Bull Lightning Conference will start in a little while. And I have to thank Roman from Synthes Tech who picked me up late at night at the airport, making a very, very smooth journey all the way here. And he described this area as being not very nice and dirty until the uh, Winter Olympics. In that time, at that time, they spent a lot of money renovating these areas. There are three large hotels, one of which the conference is in. Uh, I think they're 50 years old. Uh, you can see that the uh, water is not very warm, not even the Russians are prepared to swim in it, in it. So this is the 25th conference held here in Russia on the subject. And it's in memory of Yuriji Bajutov, a man who inspired me at ICCF 17 in Dijon in South Korea. Uh, and I specifically remember him talking about uh, some experiments where he says, And look at this! There are new kinds of material! And he was referring to this sort of blue, kind of luminescent, clear material that they had made. And I think what you're going to find in the coming years, that this technology has the ability to create chimeras, hybrids of superchemical elements where they kind of have their orbitals rearranged and normal chemical elements that will be transformational for science and engineering and humanity in general. This is not just about nuclear remediation, nuclear synthesis, transmutation, excess heat. There is much more to cold nuclear transmutation and ball lightning as they call it here in the Soviet sphere.